Hey there, today I have a decluttering video for you. So this is kind of a different video from what I typically do. Some of you had commented that you'd be interested in seeing a decluttering video. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try to put one together. And this might be a little different than my usual videos, which are all about buying stuff. So this is about getting rid of stuff. And <laughs> I do have a lot of clothes and I've tried actually listing things on Poshmark. So I do have a Poshmark account. I'm not like super active on Poshmark, but I have sold some things and I do have a closet. So I thought what I'll do is we'll go over some of the items that I'm thinking about getting rid of and kind of do uh, love it or list it. Yeah, I recently watched, I was watching HGTV and I saw that show love it or, love it or list it and got inspired for a love it or list it series, I guess. And did you know that Jillian on Love It or List It 2 is also like from The Bachelorette? Yeah, she looks amazing by the way. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to go upstairs and I'll show you some of the items that I'm thinking of listing on Poshmark. And also, I guess I'll do a try on and then we can decide, should I love it or should I list it? Okay, so here we are. <laughs> Sammy's here already. And we're gonna attempt to do some decluttering. And I have all these dresses that I've identified that I'm thinking of getting rid of. <laughs> and yeah, here's my, here's my system, it's Molly's crate. Oh, there's Kaya. And yeah, these are other clothes that I'm thinking of getting rid of. More, more. Here's um, One Direction and a, a calendar that is stuck in August of 2017. Aww, it's sad to change things. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead with some decluttering. And what I've been doing is I've been listing stuff on Poshmark. And here's my Poshmark closet. Some stuff has already been sold and I need to send it out. But yeah, this other stuff is all my daughter's stuff. Okay. Okay, guys, <laughs> and sorry, this video might not even work. We'll see, because I'm not used to filming in this way. So um, for today's video, I've kind of identified five dresses that I'm going to, I'm thinking of listing. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and show you <laughs> the dresses. And then I'm going to ask you guys to see um, what you think, if you think I should love it or list it. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be fun, right? Okay, let's try it. Okay, so here is the first dress, and actually I'm having to go back and refilm this, so that's why the lighting has changed. But this dress I got from Golden Tote, and it's by Shein Sky, and it's a size medium. And it's just a, a nice, it's a polka dot dress, it's, um, I guess it's a shift style, and it has a ruffle on the bottom, and it has these bell sleeves. So um, I guess I bought it maybe like almost two years ago and I really did like it when I first got it but you know I haven't really worn it for probably at least a year. So this is something I think I was thinking of listing and um, one of the things, the main problems I have is because of the bell sleeves. I don't think that is in style anymore but it was all the rage two years ago. and. Also, um, because of those sleeves, it makes it hard to wear with like a cardigan, you know, it looks bumpy. Okay, and here is dress number two. And this is from Gilly, and I believe I got this from Mix and Match. So it's kind of a purplish color, kind of a different, I don't know exactly what you call it. Maybe it's like purple navy, and also has bell sleeves and it has kind of a ruffle bottom and it's a it's just a nice knit knit material it's fit and flare but yeah i haven't worn this too much either mainly because of the sleeves it makes it hard to wear with like um you know anything that has a more fitted sleeve so yeah but it is pretty i think it's a dark floral which is actually in for fall but um I'm not sure. I haven't worn this for a while. I probably only wore it like once or twice. Okay, so dress number three. This is also by Gilly. So three Gilly dresses in a row. 
This one I got from Golden Tote and it's a really pretty dark floral, which again is in. It's a faux wrap and it has um, three quarter sleeve, which are actually not bell, <laughs> which is good. I um, actually gave this to my friend Cheryl. She liked it, but she wore it once and then she said she didn't really see herself wearing it that much. So anyway, uh, it is a pretty dress. It does have a little bit of fading just because it's just like a knit, probably like a, a rayon blend. And you know, once you wash it, because it's such a dark fabric, you do see a little bit of fading, but not bad. It still looks like in great condition. So pretty dress, but I don't know. I have so many dresses. <laughs> I really need to pare it down. Okay, and here is dress number four, which is a sheath dress. And I got this from Loft on sale. I think I got it clearance maybe beginning of the year. So it's actually, what is this? Uh, six petite and it's brand new, never been worn. I mean, it's really cute. It's like a tweed. It has this kind of fringy detail at the bottom. Um, you know, I really thought this was cute. It's kind of a spring dress, but spring came and went and I didn't wear it and I still haven't worn it. And I think for me, uh, just because my work environment is so casual, I never got a chance. So anyway, it might be better to have it, just put posh it, and then somebody else could make use of it. Okay, and here's the last dress. And this is by, what is this, by Mason Jewels. It's a size small. And it's just a basic black dress. And it's kind of a ponte knit fabric. And it's very it's like a fit and flare so you see it has kind of a flary skirt it's just very basic no pockets v-neck short like a cap sleeve maybe I, w I bought this for a party i went to a dinner for christmas like maybe two years ago and wore it once and that was it so it's been sitting in my closet hasn't been worn for over a year so that's why i was thinking of poshing this but it is kind of like a basic timeless style that kind of never goes out of style, right? So should I, should I posh it? I don't know. It is nice. Hmm. Okay, so those are all the dresses that I've identified for possibly listing on Poshmark. So now I'm going to go ahead, give these dresses another try. I'm going to try them all on again, and I'll try to accessorize or whatever and see if I could actually love them again or should I list them? Okay, so here's the first dress. And, you know, I do really like this dress. It is extremely comfortable. It's kind of a cozy, it almost feels like a sweater dress. The only thing I, I just don't like these sleeves. I think the, this type of ruffled sleeve, or is it bell sleeve, is kind of out of style already. Um, you could probably easily remove the bell part and then just sew it if you were handy <laughs> but yeah I mean other than you know the bell sleeves I think it's a really cute dress and I really do like the length and I love polka dots polka dots are still very in so let's see if we could try to style it a little different so this is basically how I probably would style it ordinarily when I first received it Okay, so here is the dress styled a little differently <laughs> with some newer items in my closet. So I've got, this is actually a rented jacket that is from Free People and I got it from Newly. It's still on rental. And I've got some Blondo boots. So <laughs> kind of edge it up a little and a little bit of a, um, a different necklace. This is a Rebel Pendant from Stella and Dot. So yeah, so this is trying to style it a different way, and I've hidden the bell sleeves. This jacket is nice. My other denim jackets from Cut From The Cloth, the sleeves are very fitted, so it probably wouldn't be able to accommodate the, the bell sleeve unless I cut those up. Um, so yeah, I just tried to hide it. But anyway, so dress number one, love it or list it, and I'll put a card up above where you guys can click on it and say love or list to give your feedback. 
Okay, so here we go with dress number two. And this one I got from Mix and Match. And you know, it is also a very pretty dress. Uh, I think it's a very flattering, it's actually pretty comfortable because it's a knit material. The only thing is it does have the bell sleeves. <laughs> yeah, and these also would be very easy to remove. I think you could probably just remove the bell sleeve and then finish the sleeve off and then have like a nice elbow length sleeve. But my sewing skills are very bad <laughs> and I'm lazy. So this is just a dress I have not reached for. And because of these sleeves, again, it's hard to wear with a jacket or, or cardigan over it. So I don't know, it is pretty good. But let's see if I can style it a little differently to give it a, a new life. Okay, so here is dress number two, styled a little differently, hopefully transformed. So I have a boyfriend um, cut denim jacket, so this is very oversized. I think it's called a boyfriend cut or maybe even like a trucker style denim jacket. And, and again with some booties, these are tan booties. I'm not sure where I got, I think I got these on sale from Famous Footwear for very inexpensive. But yeah, I think this kind of gives it a different vibe. And I think this kind of look is sort of in for fall. So let me know what you think. Love it or list it. Okay, so here's dress number three, and this is from Loft. And I'm pretty sure I got this maybe this year, beginning of the year, January or so. It's a very pretty dress. But since I work in a very casual work environment, I just haven't worn it. And I think the reason why I bought this, I actually got a really good deal. Because I, I remember this is something that it went on like super clearance. But it is a very pretty, and I love pink. And it's lined, it's a good quality, it's a tweed. It has this kind of tweedy bottom. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know, I just never wore it. So <laughs> let's see if I can style it up. Okay, so here, is that dress styled a little differently. I've tried to style it down actually and make it a little more casual looking. So I've added on my trusty cut from the cloth, dark denim jacket and some white sneakers. <laughs> and I did change the necklace to like a layered necklace and I got this from Loft. Okay, so hmm, what do you think? Love it or list it? Click up above and let me know. Okay, so here's dress number four, and this is from Gilly, and I think I got it from Golden Tote. So this is the dress that I had given to my friend Cheryl, but she gave it back. Um, it is actually a very pretty dress, and I just only wore it maybe once or twice. But it is nice, and I think dark floral is on trend for this fall. So it's it's still in, it's still very much in style. It's comfortable. It's a flattering cut. I just do have a lot of dresses, and yeah, I just have a lot of dresses, and I'm trying to like declutter. I'm not sure which ones to get rid of. And this one, I think it's a little dressy and formal for my working environment right now. So let's see if I can style it a little differently, make it more casual. Okay, so here's that dress, and I threw on that same red uh, free people jacket that I'm renting, and um, the same blonde black booties, just to give it a fall look. And I think the red picks up on some of the red in the print. So yeah, I don't know, I mean, it is pretty, I think this looks okay, but I don't know if it's a keeper. So love it or list it, people. <laughs> Let me know. Okay, so here's the last dress. And this is just a very basic LBD little black dress. And I bought it like a couple years ago for like a Christmas party or dinner. And I wore it once and that was it. I never wore it again. And it's just been sitting in my closet for about two years. So that's why I thought, okay, I haven't worn this for two years, I probably should get rid of it, right? But now that I'm wearing it, maybe I should keep it. <laughs> Let me know what you think. 
I mean, even without styling this differently, it, a, a dress like this probably never goes out of style. It's a quality fabric. It wasn't that expensive. I, I think I bought it at um, the Navy Exchange when my mom was in town, because um, my father was in the military. But um, yeah, I think this is a really, just a nice basic. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably keep it. But anyway, let me know what you think. And I will still try to style it a little differently, maybe so that I could get some more use out of it, maybe by wearing it to work. Let's see. OK, so here is that little black dress. And I've styled it a little more casual. So I've got, this is a medium wash cut from the cloth denim jacket. And I've got a more casual necklace and some leopard flats. <laughs> and yeah, I think this actually looks pretty cute and has more of a casual vibe. So yeah, maybe this, um, <laughs> doing this video has actually made me rethink some things. And there are some things in my closet that I didn't know actually have more life than I thought. So yeah, I think, but yeah, but let me know what you think. Love it or list it. I'll put the card up above and um, yeah. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. I think it was actually a good exercise trying these dresses on one more time before deciding whether or not I should sell it on Poshmark. I mean, to be honest, these I had already kind of put on the side thinking that I was going to list them. And I had, uh, especially with this Poshmark, um, it's not for me the easiest thing. Even though there's like an app and you just basically snap pictures with your phone, put in the description and post it, very simple. But I, it just, uh, it just takes me a while. <laughs> so I had been planning to like list these kind of for like probably two months. It's been sitting there, but I had it. So this is a good exercise for me. <laughs> and I wanna also thank, again, um, some of you who had suggested this. I, I think it might've been a couple videos ago. So I really do appreciate your suggestions and I'm always open to ideas. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any other ideas for videos. And I also want to give a shout out to a couple other YouTubers that I've seen that have done some decluttering and maybe Poshmark. So I saw Little Box of Happy. She has a whole series. I think it's called Should It Stay or Should It Go? So she's been doing some decluttering. And also Kelly Schaffner. <laughs> and I saw Kelly do, I think she did a decluttering and like a Poshmark video. So, And I'll put some links down to their channels below in case you want to check out their awesome channels. Okay, so but yeah let me know what you guys think i put cards up above for each of the dresses so if you could say love it or list it you know which which what do you think i should do yeah that'll help me decide and then i'm gonna go ahead and put everything up on poshmark and we'll see so i'll also put a link down below to my poshmark closet in case you guys want to check it out <laughs> okay so that's everything i have for today's video so i hope you enjoyed it it was something different <laughs> And let me know if you like these kind of videos and if you want to see more of these kind of decluttering videos because I do have a lot of clothes to declutter. And um, yeah, we could make it into a series, possibly love it or list it, a decluttering series. Yeah, so let me know in the comments below. And now I'm going to call one of my furry friends to help me say goodbye. And last time I called Kaya, so this time I'll call Sammy who's sleeping. Although Kaya is looking at me like, pick me, pick me. But I think we're going to go with Sammy. Sammy! <laughs> okay, so here's Miss Sammy, and she's the dog with the very cute eyebrows. We love her eyebrows, actually. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of shopping hauls and unboxing videos, and I guess some decluttering, <laughs> maybe. Um, and if you enjoy watching those kind of videos, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.